And here it is, the newly released ACT twin disc clutch for the Evo 8 or 9. Couple quick items to cover. ACT did sponsor me this clutch, which is awesome. More on that later. So MSRP on this kit is $1,899. However, I'm fairly certain you're gonna be able to get it a bit cheaper through your local ACT dealer. Which leads me into my next point, finding where to buy this clutch. If you go to the ACT website, link in the video description down below, you'll find a dealer locator. You can find the ACT dealer closest to you. They should be able to give you not only price and availability, but also they're going to talk to you about what specific clutch is right for you because there are quite a few different variations of this twin disc clutch. But it's really going to vary on how much torque you're putting down and also like what your application are and how streetable you want it to be. And that's what's really awesome about this clutch. It's actually rated at a minimum of 700 foot pounds of torque and it ranges all the way up to 1,340 foot pounds of torque again depending on which variation you're going to get this of course is where i recommend you talk to your dealer if you're interested in ordering this clutch they're probably going to ask you some questions about how much torque you have in your car and also what you plan to do with it so talk to your dealer they should be able to recommend the right clutch for you so again this should be the most streetable twin disc option they have that's the one i have it should be great for cars basically under 700 foot pounds of torque that should be a lot of evos on the market it should be a good streetable option because it has full face disc so that's going to help and because it has the sprung hub so that's going to help as well but of course to break things down and if you want to know more about what you might get with other options with this actual you know clutch here they could change out the full face disc to a six puck variant and then they can also change that sprung hub to an unsprung option and that can help give you a bit more torque capacity so this is my kit this is the t1s m01 and what's all included well you see most of it here this paperwork was also included you're going to get some installation instructions they're going to let you know that it is spec 1.2 certified and it's going to come with everything you're going to need to basically install it you're going to get your clutch alignment tool you're going to of course get your throw up bearing the highly recommended monolock collar is already included so that's great and of course your clutch and flywheel combo here now before I actually open this up, as I mentioned, this is a sponsored video and I just want to say that I feel very grateful that ACT was willing to sponsor me. Of course, I'm not the biggest YouTube channel around, but it's great that they were able to work with me and, you know, I think this is the right area, you know, for companies looking to expose their products to the evil market. I'm really hoping I can help facilitate that with ACT and other companies as well and give my viewers you know just a glimpse at new products coming to the market or what products you know work well what products I like so hopefully all my viewers know I like to be open and transparent so this is a sponsored clutch but I'm gonna treat it fairly and hopefully put it through its paces and get some more videos on it so that's it should we dig into it So the first thing I notice here is they do use ARP bolts to hold the clutch together. ARP of course makes pretty good stuff, so that's good to see. And then I'm just checking to see if these line up any specific spot and it does look like the two numbers here are lining up with this ACT logo. And then these pins are going to fall in place here. And these are anti-rotation pins, I guess, to make sure it stays in place. So for now, I'm going to empty all these bolts out. So what seems unique about this design is basically that the step is on this piece. So to have a step on this cover is a bit different and can be nice. It could be easier to service the flywheel that way because uh, the steps on other clutches could be built right into the flywheel. And of course they're not on this one. And this is a pressure plate. 
This is the pressure plate face. And from my best guess, this would also change depending on which clutch you got this pressure plate cover here and then this plate would potentially be different depending on which clutch you got and here it is the full face disc number one and it does say trans side right here and so of course that was put in right we're just going to flip through it seeing if there's any other markings to line it up specifically and the next piece is just this floater plate. And this is the sprung hub. Also labeled transmission side. And as I look, this higher protruding part would actually help separate the two discs. One disc is going to ride on this side. The second disc is going to ride on that side. And here's our second full face disc. Again, I believe you could potentially get this in the six puck variety and that would help probably hold a bit more torque. Again, labeled trans side. According to ACT's documentation, it looks like this is still considered the street light uh, flywheel variation. And I believe this flywheel would be the same no matter what specific clutch or what specific version of this twin disc clutch you would get. I haven't fully gone over the installation process yet, but from briefly skimming it, of course, you do want to spray a lot of the components of brake clean, not the disc. You'll want to keep the disc, you know, free of any type of debris, any type of grease. So be careful with the disc, not to get anything on them. But the good news is I should be able to do that as well. So I will do another video again and give you some install tips as I actually do it. So there it is, that's it. My breakdown of the new ACT twin disc clutch. Hopefully I showed you anything you wanted to know. That's pretty much all the information I have about the clutch at this time. But if I learn more, I'll try to update it in the video description or in the comment section. Of course, if you have any other questions about it, feel free to ask me and I'll try to help you the best I can. And watch for more New Evo parts videos. I'm hoping I can get more into showing you guys what parts are out there for the Evo 8, Evo 9, CT9A platform. So as always, this is Paul from Boosted Films saying thanks so much for watching. Appreciate the support.